Hi everyone, it's Kat. Today we're going to be talking about dissociation. In our video about the basics of DID, we spoke about the causes. One of those is the ability to dissociate to an intense degree from birth. Dissociation is a key part of DID. It is the thing that ties all of the other causes together to form the disorder. It is a natural process that occurs in the human mind, but sometimes it can get a little bit out of control. In this video, we're going to explain dissociation in greater detail and we're going to explain its role in DID. The DSM-5 defines dissociation as a disruption and or discontinuity in the normal integration of consciousness, memory, identity, emotion, perception, body representation, motor control, and behavior. Dissociation is a natural defense against a traumatic or a stressful situation. During a stressful situation, you may dissociate. Your conscious mind may take a back seat and your subconscious mind takes over to get you through the event. Your subconscious mind goes through the motions to cope with a stressful or traumatic event that you cannot physically remove yourself from. Therefore, your brain mentally removes you from it. You may find sometimes that you zone out or perhaps you go into a daydream or a daze and you can't remember what's occurred. You, you may be aware of what is going on around you, but you are not, you don't feel like you're physically a part of it. That is dissociation. It happens. It's a very normal thing and everybody does it. So if you dissociate, it doesn't automatically mean that you have a dissociative disorder. It is a normal thing that happens to everybody. It becomes a dissociative disorder when you dissociate to an abnormal degree. In 1996, Mollen said that dissociation involves an attempt to deny that an unbearable situation is occurring or that the person is present in the situation. Mollen actually wrote a really good book that I can't remember the name of, but I will put it in the description because it is a great book and you should definitely read it if you want to know more about dissociation. Dissociation occurs on a spectrum from normal dissociation all the way over to dissociative disorders. Depersonalization and derealization are two forms of dissociation. Depersonalization is when you feel as though you are not real. Your body is not physically there. Derealization is when you feel as though your surroundings are not there. We have experienced derealization feeling as if we're maybe watching a movie of our life. We're just sort of standing, watching what's going on around us, not really being a part of it, but almost as if it's a movie or a dream. It's not really there. You may remember a time where you experienced something from the third person, as if you were up in the air, you were looking down on what was happening, that's dissociation as well. During dissociation, you are trying to mentally distance yourself from what is occurring. This distancing may involve memory, emotions, physical sensations, or in some extreme cases, a sense of identity. Now, this sense of identity, this uh, this distancing from your sense of identity occurs in DID. Dissociation can often disrupt your memory. Let's take the example of being in a car crash. You may remember driving before the car crash. You may remember hearing the car crash. You may remember being outside of the car after the crash. 
You may not remember what actually happened during the crash, or even how you got out of the car. That is because you dissociated through the event because it was traumatic, but you couldn't physically remove yourself from it. DID is the most extreme form of a dissociative disorder. It occurs on the far end of the spectrum. So while you may have dissociative disorders like depersonalization, derealization, they are not as far along the spectrum as DID is. DID is an unconscious defense mechanism against trauma and it involves separating the memories of the trauma from your conscious mind. This is done through dissociation and that is why it's so important. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about DID, you can check out our other videos or other channels that we've suggested. As usual, our references will be down below. Have a wonderful day.